Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are doing something very special, something very different. As you can see, I am outside and we are going to go for a drive. And not any drive, we are going to test out NVIDIA's uh, Jetson Nano with a semantic segmentation model. So let me show you the setup here. So I have, I have this extension connected all the way to the front and let me show you what's happening in the front so here you can see we have the Jetson Nano and then we have a screen this is for me to check what is happening and I have a keyboard and mouse as well so that we can debug any issues that we face now for the main part I have a camera here that will record the main video and then there's a camera there that is going to actually send the feed to our Jetson Nano and then it will do the semantic segmentation. So let's go ahead and try it out. So here is our system. We have the camera, two cameras and then here is the screen. And you can see the semantic segmentation model is running here. This is just for me to see what is happening. And you can see that there you go. It is running around 40 -ish frames per second. Uh, 48 was the maximum number that NVIDIA has shown on their website so it is very close to that and uh, the idea is that if you have the purple side or if you have the purple color then it will be a road if it's blue then it will be a car so we are going to drive around and see how it performs right now it's very sunny and uh, you can see here it's 50 degrees Celsius not Fahrenheit Celsius so and i'm doing this for science because uh, i don't think it will work that well if i do it at night so let's go ahead and try it out so full disclosure this is quite dangerous if you're doing it yourself so don't try it out alone if you are trying to do this uh, don't try it at home <laughs> or don't try it outside alone so it can be quite dangerous if you're looking at the screen and then you're driving again and again so I'm, I'm going to do it uh, in quite an empty spot so that uh, there's no issues. So let's go ahead and try it out. We will go back and as you can see already, it's changing a little bit. Okay, so now what you will notice is that the green areas are the trees or the grass. The purple area is the one where we can drive and then we have the light purple that is empty but you cannot drive on it and the main part is the blue color which is the cars so if you see any car it will be in blue so let's go ahead and see how it works so we have a little bit of green on the sides so there is a car on the side going in front of us so let's see if it detects that blue Yes, I can see. So on the left and the right, uh, all the places you can see there are cars and it is detecting it as blue. That's excellent. And then we can see most of it is purple. It means I can drive through that. That is good. And on the right, you can see there is a little bit of green. That is excellent as well. And then you have again a little bit of green on the side. So again, it is good so far. And actually it's very good so far surprisingly because this Jetson Nano is literally $60 so uh, you can't really expect a lot of uh, performance here but you are getting real-time uh, what you call semantic segmentation which is amazing uh, if you're not familiar with semantic segmentation it is uh, it is classification on a pixel level so every pixel is classified whether it's a car whether it's a road whether it's a tree so this model is trained on cityscapes so this is what it was trained on and as you can see it is performing quite well so i'm going to take a turn now and let's see what do we have in front so there is a car coming there's a bike they can't really see the results properly but i don't think it picked the bike but it did pick the car so so far it is doing quite well better than i expected the car is beeping not because i'm not wearing a seat belt because there's a lot of stuff on my other seat and it thinks that somebody's sitting there so forget that and then 
we can see on the right there are a little bit of blue spots but it is getting confused but in front you can see there's a car coming and it is detecting it properly that's good and then we have the green areas that's very well and this is an interesting part i can see that there is a light uh, light purple part this area is basically ground so you cannot drive on the ground but it is an empty spot so probably it's telling you that so it's very good that it's able to differentiate and you can see this guy i don't know why he's walking on the road but you can see we can see a person walking on the road that's good uh, it showed it in red color okay so there was a little bit of traffic back there so I stopped because as I mentioned before it is dangerous to do the snow so we will go around and we will see now we didn't really test with people that much so I will try to find someone around walking so we can see okay we have someone on this side so let's try that So it might look like I'm following them, but <laughs> that will be weird. So I, I'm going to turn now to see if we can detect them. Now this is a parking spot, so there is a person moving, so that's fine. And yeah, I can see if the person was detected. Uh, there is a biker there, maybe we can go there. Let's go a little bit outside, maybe we'll find some more interesting stuff. But overall, I'm very, very impressed with the performance because I did not expect it to be that good. On, on the website, it said 83% accuracy. And this is very good for the amount of performance uh, this Chichen Nano has and uh, the amount of frame rate we are getting out of this. It is pretty amazing uh, what I'm looking at here. So I'm not sure how well it will perform at night, but I will be very interested to see what will happen if we run this on the Xavier. So the Xavier on their website, they mentioned that it can run up to 480 frames per second with this model. So that will be insane. And there is another model that works a little bit better than this. It has uh, the accuracy of higher 80s. So maybe if we try it with that, then we will get even better results and we will get faster frame rates. But of course, the webcam we are using is 60 frames per second, so uh, we cannot go beyond that. But still, it will be amazing to see 60 frames per second. So I think that is pretty good what we have so far. There's a bike here. Let's check the bike. I'm going to go close to him. But there's a lot of... Uh, what do you call it? no it's not detecting there's a lot of uh, what do you call cars around him so it's not getting detected but overall it looks quite good maybe if he was driving probably it would detect him as well so let's try to find something interesting so there's a person on the grass right there I'm not sure oh yeah it is detected. so it is giving that red red mark sometimes so it does detect it sometimes that is pretty good and we have another car coming from the side what is this blue line I I, I missed it I didn't see it. what is this blue line I'm not sure what the light blue is maybe it's the sky but the sky should not be down it should be up so I'm not sure but Anyways, so what I can see so far is the green, which is the, the what do you call, the trees and the grass, whatever you want to call them. Then the blue, which is the cars. And then the red is okay, like it's not that bad. Sometimes it detects, sometimes it doesn't detect. And of course, we are using 640 by 480. If we increase it up to uh, 1280 by 720, we will have better results. So... Again, we are limited a little bit with the power again, but if we tried it out with Xavier, I'm pretty sure we are going to get much better results than this. So, and we can bump it up to HD, you know, 
and probably you will get 60 frames per second in HD. I mean, that will be something to have a look at, you know, that will be pretty amazing to watch. So I think that is pretty much it. I'm going to go back and park. And I hope this video was fun for you. This was something new I tried. I thought, why not test out the Xavier, uh, the, what do you call, the Cityscape model and see how it worked on the Jetson Nano. So that is it for today. I hope you learned something new and I will see you in the next one.